Okay, let's continue ARDS. In ARDS, we have three type of alveoli now. The first one is an alveolus filled with fluid, as you see here, and the interstitium in all of them um, will have fluids. But this here, you see, there will be less space for the air. Let's put the air as if it's uh, green, okay? So this space for air. And the same thing, the atelectatic lung, there is no air at all going into it. In ARDS, these are the majority of lung parenchymal alveoli will be either this type, this type, or this type. And you can see that their participation in ventilation perfusion is mismatched there is no participation here and actually there is none here so this is basically is a dead space and can lead to ventilation perfusion mismatch which is actually the main mechanism in AR death that cause hypoxia and the Healthy alveolus still present, but they represent a small percentage. That's why patients with ARDS always have hypoxemia and requiring mechanical ventilation support. So our goal here is to preserve these healthy alveoli as much as we can and try to fix the problem so these two types of alveoli here becomes healthy again and participate in the ventilation perfusion so there is increased dead space there is increased vq mismatch but also there is also this blood is going passing by without getting oxygenating or without the exchange between two and co2 right so the big impairment in gas exchange and this leads to shunting another problem with ARDS leads to hypoxia so your goal as I said is to preserve these healthy alveoli because they are not the major they are the minority in ARDS and try to fix the underlying problem and support the patient and do whatever you need to do, mechanical ventilation, try to switch these two types of alveoli to this healthy alveoli. So we all agree that the patient is hypoxic because of these two main mechanisms. The last thing here I want to point, see that there is less space for tidal volume. We have small amount of healthy alveoli to receive air and tidal volume. Here it's not receiving anything and here receiving a small amount of air. That means simply there is no enough space for the alveolus. That means decrease compliance. And that's a whole mark of air. This is poor compliance. That's one reason. The other reason is see because the fluid surrounding the alveolus, it cannot even stretch and over distend. So that will lead to decrease compliance so even a small amount of tidal volume can lead to volume trauma and because there is no space of this imagine the pressure in the alveoli so this is um, volume trauma and that will lead to increased plateau pressure because simply there is no space for the air to go in so the pressure inside the alveoli will be higher so there is volutrum because as i said there is really small space for the tidal volume so it can imagine you try to stretch the alveolus and the alveolus cannot stretch and this is basically the the poor compliance and all of this will lead to another problem in ARDS is barotrauma. That's why you figured why we use everything we talked about in volume trauma, barotrauma, 
and atelectroma. We'll continue next video.